Hi, I'm John Budden with Shutter Priority Imaging Center, and I'm going to show you how to enlarge film. Typically, in film, we're not going to actually enlarge the film, but we're going to project the image of the film onto our photographic paper and then process our papers. That will give us our final enlargement. What we're going to do first for enlarging film is we're going to lay the film in a film holder as such. And there are registration pins that hold it in place, like so. Once your negative is in the frame, negative frame that you want to, uh, to uh, enlarge is in position, you would take it up here and you would take it right up here and you would put it in, in larger as such. You would then close the bellows on top of it. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to adjust focus, and our focus knob is right over here, and we're going to adjust focus so we can focus the image. Down. And then by lifting our head up and down, we can make it larger or smaller. What's going to happen is, is we turn our larger head on, there's a light up here that will shine light through the negative, through the lens, and it will project right down to our film, or I mean, excuse me, our paper. Once our paper has been exposed properly, we will take this paper and we'll process this. The process that I'm describing is black and white process. It's typically the easiest thing to do at home because black and white is a much easier paper to process than would be color. And this is how you enlarge film old school. This is pretty much becoming obsolete now. It's kind of fun for nostalgic. But nowadays what we're doing is we are scanning the film and we're digitizing it. Once it's, digit once it's been digitized or scanned, you can actually go through a computer process and print just like you would print a digital camera or anything. You could print it at home or you could come to a, like our photo lab and have it done.